हेलो हेलो नाउ एवरी वन ओवर हियर वी विल बी गोइंग अहेड वी विल बी गोइंग अहेड एंड लर्निंग आर लास्ट चैप्टर एवरी वन विच इज वेयर हाउसिंग पीपल प्लीज कम टू योर लास्ट चार्ट इन कस्टम विच इज वेयर हाउसिंग रिलेटेड चार्ट प्लीज कम टू वेयर हाउसिंग for this chapter i'll be doing all the three textbook q and a and the chart book please come to warehousing everyone warehousing ka chapter now everyone let's go ahead and now learn the chapter of warehousing which is the last chapter in your customs sir this last chapter is basically a new addition which has been done this time for your ca final exam actually before some attempts they had gone ahead and removed the chapter of warehousing and now the ici has gone ahead and incorporated this chapter again in the syllabus and hence the chapter of warehousing is again there and we have to go ahead and learn it but trust me this chapter is one of the very easiest chapter let's go ahead and learn the chapter of warehousing everyone over here warehouse as the name suggests means where the goods are kept yes sir warehouse when you go ahead and read in the in my textbook everyone over here warehouse means what the means warehouse goods means what what do you mean by warehouse when you go ahead and read the definition what do you mean by a warehouse warehouse means a public warehouse which is licensed under section number 57 warehouse means a private warehouse which is licensed under section number 58 or a special warehouse under section number 58a everyone how many types of warehouse are there there are three types of warehouse one is a public warehouse one is a private warehouse and one is a special warehouse so always there are three types of warehouses under custom always remember one is a public warehouse under section number 57 private warehouse license under section number 58 special warehouse under section number 58 a everyone over here now all these warehouses which are there they don't belong to customs these warehouses belongs to other people what the customs do is they go ahead and give licenses so that people can run custom warehouses so sir what is this public warehouse everyone a public warehouse if, what do you mean by warehouse goods warehouse goods means those goods which are deposited in the warehouse now when i say public warehouse it is that warehouse which is first of all licensed by the principal commissioner or commissioner of custom or the commissioner of custom and sir it is where dutiable goods may be deposited so sir always remember one thing a public warehouse is a warehouse which is licensed by whom always remember warehousing may you have warehouse and warehouse ka license is given by whom given by the principal commissioner or the commissioner of custom now sir what is the difference between a public warehouse private warehouse and a special warehouse everyone over here a public warehouse is also licensed by the principal commissioner or commissioner a private warehouse is also licensed by the principal commissioner or commissioner and a special warehouse is also licensed by the principal commissioner or commissioner see over here this is also licensed by them this is also licensed by them but sir the major difference between all the three is this first type of warehouse which is a public warehouse where anyone can go ahead and store the goods so for an example my goods have landed at the custom port everyone my goods have landed at the custom port and i don't want to clear the goods sir why do you don't want to clear the goods now supposingly this is me over there now why do i don't want to clear the goods for an example might be the goods have come before expectation i don't want to clear the goods now because i don't have so much working capital to pay the custom duty or might be sir i don't want to clear the goods i will keep them in the custom warehouse deposit in the custom warehouse from there only i will export it outside india 
सो सर फर्स्ट क्लियर पे कस्टम ड्यूटी एक्सपोर्ट टेक 98 परसेंट ड्यूटी के ऑल दिस थिंग आई डोंट वांट आई विल कीप इट इन द कस्टम वेयर हाउस फ्रॉम द कस्टम वेयर हाउस आई विल डायरेक्टली एक्सपोर्ट इट सो पीपल कैन हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ थॉट सो पीपल व्हाट दे कैन डू इज दे कैन गो अहेड वंस द गुड्स आर अनलोडेड वंस द गुड्स आर अनलोडेड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर गुड्स शुड बी क्लियर विद इन 30 डेज अदरवाइज द कस्टोडियन विल गो अहेड एंड गिव यू अ नोटिस and with the proper officer ka permission section number 48 gives the right to the custodian to go ahead and sell your goods yes sir we remember so better do one thing within 30 days within 30 days get your goods deposited in a public warehouse sir a public warehouse is a warehouse which is a custom ka licensed warehouse where you can go ahead and keep your dutyable goods on which the duty is there always remember warehouse mein only those goods can be kept which on which there is duty because warehouse goods are uh, goods on which duty is there will be stored in the warehouse goods okay sir point is clear now everyone dutyable goods are stored in the warehouse goods warehouse now what is a public warehouse a public warehouse is a warehouse where anyone can go ahead and keep their goods so i am running a public warehouse i have got a license you can also come ram can come sham can come radha can come whoever wants to deposit their goods can deposit in my warehouse i will charge you warehousing charges and you can deposit the goods in the custom ka warehouse baba remember one thing this warehouse is a public warehouse where anyone any public can go ahead and deposit their custom related goods okay then there is a private warehouse private warehouse means means my private warehouse actually in ftp you learn about someone called status holder and baba status holder who are there no who are two stars and above they can go ahead and establish their own warehouse so for an example i am telling sir my goods come then we take it for manufacturing immediately i can't go ahead and pay duty for bulk amount you go ahead and license my warehouse only as the public private warehouse i will keep my goods over there as and when i take the goods from my private warehouse which is the custom ka licensed warehouse i will pay the duty so this is known as a private warehouse own goods are kept by the licensee so if i am i am a good status ka person government will go ahead and say status holder two stars and above ftp me you learn about status holder theek hai two star and above you will go ahead you can go ahead and establish your own warehouse get your goods keep it in the warehouse as and when you need you clear it and pay the duty so bulk me you can import keep it in the keep it in the private warehouse don't pay any duty whenever you are clearing pay the duty that is a private warehouse and one more is the third warehouse which is known as a special warehouse special warehouse are those warehouse where only notified goods or sensitive goods are kept like for an example if you have gone ahead and imported gold or silver gold or silver you are not supposed to keep in your warehouse it is supposed to be kept in a uh special warehouse sir precious metal you have gone ahead and got that has to be kept over here sir you have got those goods which everyone which are to be supplied to duty free shop then you have to keep it in the special warehouse sir i have gone ahead and got the goods which are go i am going to supply as stores to a foreign going vessel then you will keep it in the special warehouse or sir i have gone ahead and got those goods which i am going to supply to uh foreign privileged customers sir in case of foreign privileged customers foreign privileged persons it is known as foreign privileged person in case of foreign privileged person also those goods these goods are basically to be kept in a special warehouse okay sir point is clear if i have got gold silver if i have got those goods which are to be supplied to duty free shop or stores to foreign going vessel if i have imported stores and i am going to supply it to foreign going vessel if sir i have gone ahead and i am going to supply goods to foreign privileged persons who are there then baba in that scenario those goods are to be kept in a uh, special warehouse now listen to me very carefully so whenever your goods come to the custom port you have to get the goods cleared and you have to shift it to the warehouse warehouse section number 57 public warehouse private warehouse sir only those who is given license he can store his goods over there and sir special warehouse where only special items sensitive items ke liye it is there now one important thing in case of special warehouse is that the custom officers are placed over here and the lock and key is with the custom officer 
in this warehouse there is no physical control of the officers there is no custom officers who are there but in this case special warehouse may the custom officer will have the lock and key he will not allow you to remove the goods but this are these are the goods this warehouses are basically what you know what happens in this case of in this warehouses these warehouses are under custom control but record based control how many goods came how many goods went only records are being maintained record based control is there custom authorities can come and see okay they can tell you please get your records and they will check okay this many goods came this many you cleared the record based control is there but here physical control is there in case of special warehouse okay sir everyone are we all clear till here quickly give me a heads up yes sir we are all clear till here so your goods came to the custom port you should clear the goods within 30 days if you don't clear the goods within 30 days the custodian can sell your goods but sir i don't have money to clear so what to do they went ahead and told you do one thing you file a into bond bill of entry under section number 46 which is known as into bond bill of entry basically you will have to file a bill of entry which is yellow in color this is yellow bill of entry under section number 46 it is also known as into bond bill of entry and along with this bill of entry the what will happen when you file this bill of entry you have to go ahead and assess the duty so basically not officer you go ahead and assess the duty and after you have gone ahead and assess the duty you have to go ahead and give a warehousing bond Section number 57, 58 went ahead and told about the various warehouses which were there. Okay, sir. Now, 59 says whenever you go ahead and file your bill of entry, you have to go ahead and assess the duty and you have to go ahead and give a bond. Sir, how much amount of bond has to be given? Always remember, whatever is your self-assessed duty of that, three times bond has to be given. Why, sir, so much amount of bond has to be given? Because... The department is telling Ramesh, now you will go ahead and deposit your goods. Tomorrow, if there is any penalty, any interest to be charged on you, then we want to recover that amount. So, department wants to be on a higher side over here and say, three times the bond amount has to be given. You have to bind yourself to comply with all the provisions of the Act, Rules and regulation. Basically, in the bond, you will say, I will go ahead and comply with all the provisions. I will come, I will pay all the duties on or before the date specified, all the duties and interest I will go ahead and pay. Any penalty and fine for contravention also I will pay. And you have to go ahead and execute a bond. This bond which is there, you know, everyone, of your consignment, for, your, for an example, your consignment is 1 crore, 30% is duty, then how much? 30 lakh rupees into 3, 90 lakh rupees ka one bond has to be given. 90 lakh rupees ka bond regarding to that consignment the consignment which came 1 crore ka consignment you have to go ahead and give a consignment bond okay sir so always remember warehousing okay warehousing always remember one thing everyone you there is two types of bonds which are there bond can be one can be consignment bond what do you mean by consignment bond sir consignment bond means with respect to the goods which have come to the port you have to go ahead and give a bond that is known as a consignment bond with bond with regards to that consignment one crore rupees ka consignment supposingly has come sir consignment one crore 30 percent duty so you have to go ahead and give 30 lakh into three which is known as 90 lakh rupees ka one consignment ka bond you have to give now Sometimes what happens, if the commissioner goes ahead and wants, he can go ahead and tell you why for every consignment you have to go ahead and give a bond. Do one thing, give me a general bond, general bond and he will tell for the one year, whatever goods you are going ahead and importing, you don't have to give me bond all the time. For a specified period, he will go ahead and take a general bond and that is what is being told over here. A assistant commissioner or the deputy commissioner can also go ahead and permit the importer to execute a general bond with respect to goods imported within a specified period. He can go ahead and tell you, Ramesh, one crore rupees ka bond you give, one whole year, whatever you are importing, this bond only is okay, no problem at all. That bond ka amount he will tell you. Bond sale, okay. Till here is my point clear to all. Quickly tell me everyone. I will teach about this two point, but everyone is clear till here. Quickly give me a heads up. Yes, sir. We are all clear till here. Now, 
everyone over here now listen to me very carefully i filed first step first step is sir all these warehouses i went ahead and told you section number 57 public warehouse warehouse section number 58 special warehouse uh, private warehouse section number 59 58 a special warehouses okay sir point is clear then sir then you went ahead and told now i have gone ahead and imported the goods no i will go ahead and first file a bill of entry along with a bond bond can be a continuity bond bond can be a consignment bond or it can be a general bond for covering a specified period okay now the officer will go ahead and verify the bill of entry filed by me and he will go ahead and give a custom clearance order custom officer will go ahead and give a clearance order which is a warehousing order section number 60 so i went ahead and told you about 57 public warehouse 58 private where 58 private warehouse 58 a sir 58 a special warehouse 59 may you will give a bond when you are filing the bill of entry bill of entry under section number 46 you will file along with that bond you will give section number 60 may they will go ahead and give you a warehousing order okay go 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 warehouse your goods i got the warehousing order now it says permitting removal of goods from the custom station sometimes warehousing orders are given electronically also e orders are given through the custom automated system if you are a good person who is going ahead and clearing your goods in good always in good faith not, not doing cheating then automated custom automated system gives you a e clearance order also okay once the clearance order has been given deposit your goods in the warehouse is my point everyone are we all clear till here everyone quickly tell me are we all clear till section number 60 yes sir we all got it quickly give me a heads up yes sir we are all clear till section number 60 the next section over here sir my goods are in the warehouse how much time i can keep in the warehouse lifetime can i keep it in the warehouse without paying duty government is telling do you think i'm a fool <laughs> government is telling over here ramesh listen if your goods have been cleared clearance order not arrival not uh import of goods you have to see the clearance order from the clearance order warehousing order say you have to see warehousing order given on 1st of january then you can give keep the goods for 90 days in the warehouse without any interest on the duty see you are keeping the goods in the warehouse without paying any duty it means government ka duty you are deferring yes or no everyone yes sir you have gone ahead and deferred government ka duty so government goes ahead and says when you are going ahead and deferring my duty listen to me do one thing i will go ahead and def allow you to defer my duty for 90 days so you can keep the goods in the warehouse for 90 days without any interest payment to me without any interest on the duty but once 90 days gets over i want interest at the rate of 15 percent per annum and the maximum period they are going ahead and allowing for you to keep the goods in the warehouse is one year see over here everyone section number 61 talks about warehousing period it says if you are a hundred percent uu or estp or a software technology park then they are going ahead and telling warehousing period because see what happens everyone listen an export oriented unit imports the goods 100% EOU will go ahead and import the goods specially for export. Sir, if you are a electronic hardware technology park, you are importing for export. If you are a software technology park, then also you will go ahead and import for export. So for them, there is no time limit because anyways, they are going to export and earn foreign currency. Government is very happy with them. No time limit. They can keep till the time they want. No interest, nothing. But sir, okay, sir, if you are also a person who is going to manufacture the goods, you are telling, sir, my warehouse, which is there, no, can you please go ahead and tell? So what companies go ahead and do, no, companies go ahead and get their whole uh, facility where they are manufacturing, that manufacturing warehouse, that manufacturing facility only, they go ahead and get it named as warehouse. So, sir, they are telling, sir, we will manufacture in the warehouse and then we will export. Oh, your main work is to go ahead and manufacture in the warehouse and export. For you also, no time limit. But if any other person is there like me, I imported, I will clear the goods, sell in India. Government is selling any other person ke liye. Government have kept the time limit. See, if you are 100% EOU or ESTP or software technology park or you are going to unit 
availing manufacturing means you are going to import the raw material you are going to manufacture and directly export it in that scenario in this cases government is selling till clearance you can keep no warehousing period applicable no extension required no interest have to be paid keep it till the time but others like us who are not going to earn any foreign currency for us when we go ahead and get the goods we can keep it in the warehouse maximum 90 days okay without any interest after 90 days sir everyone you can go ahead and keep it for one year from the warehousing order once the warehousing order is given 90 days now one year up to 90 days though no interest interest will start after 90 days after 90 days interest has to be paid and sir can there be an extension yes sir your goods are there in the warehouse up to 90 days no interest after 90 days the government is earning interest at the rate 15 percent okay one year got over you want more go again one year ka extension interest has to be paid at the rate 15 percent again you want one more okay again one year they will give you but interest at the rate 15 percent per annum has to be paid yes everyone quickly tell me are we all clear with this yes sir we are all clear let's go ahead everyone now i went ahead and told you about the various section sir what are the various section you told i told you about three types of warehouse first of all section number 57 i went ahead and told you about public warehouse where anyone can keep their goods 58 sir private warehouse only those people who are going ahead and owning the license licensee will keep the goods 50 8a special warehouse for gold or those goods which are supplied to duty free shop or basically when uh, stores are being imported stores are being stored over there all those things okay sir then now what will happen i am the importer i will go ahead to the port and file my bill of entry plus i will give a bond i went ahead and told about section number 59 may bond now the officer who is sitting over here this officer will go ahead and give under section number 60 clearance order and i will deposit my goods in any of the warehouse as applicable to me okay sir point is clear sir then 61 you went ahead and told period of warehousing 90 days free after that interest at the rate 15 percent but in case of eou estp stp or a person who is going to use his warehouse as a manufacturing facility manufacture and export for them there is no time limit till clearance they can go ahead and keep their goods there is my point 100 percent clear to all can we go ahead everyone yes sir quickly tell me people yes sir we are all going ahead and understanding everything let's go ahead everyone over here now now the next one 62 61 i told you period of warehousing 62 and 63 is being omitted deleted 62 and 63 sections are being deleted then we have section number 64 let's go ahead and see over here where is section number 64 sir section number 64 when your goods are lying in the warehouse what are the various things you can do with the warehouse goods sir my goods are in the warehouse i want to go ahead and check my goods baba go inspect the goods you can go ahead and inspect your goods which are there in the warehouse sir my goods are there in the warehouse i want to check them keep them properly so that there is no no loss etc you can deal with their containers to prevent loss or deterioration or damage you can go and deal with the goods. Deal means you, they are going ahead and telling, you can go ahead and deal with the goods, deal with their container. Basically, you can go ahead and check so that there is no losses, etc. Sir, you can go ahead and sort with the goods. What do you mean by sort with the goods, everyone? What do you mean by sort? Supposingly, mangoes have come. 10 mangoes are there. What, 10 carton of mango may, one carton may, there is some one mango which is rotten then they can sort it out these are the mangoes which are good these are the mangoes which are not good these are the spoiled mangoes which are just sorting etc of the goods can be done then you can go ahead and show the okay number one inspect the goods you can go ahead and check your goods number two deal with their containers to prevent loss deterioration or damage you can deal with those goods number three you can sort the goods number four you can show the goods for sale you can take okay you know what happened he uh, i got i got one friend okay i went ahead and got one friend friend told ramesh do you have 100 chairs i told yes yes i have 100 chairs they are lying in the godown 
then you can go ahead and show them those chairs also and also i hope you guys remember warehouse may when the goods are there you can also go ahead and sell those goods yes sir so section number 64 goes ahead and sell 61 done 62 is not there 63 is not there 64 says when your goods and the in the warehouse 64 may it is told what are the things you can do with the goods you can go ahead and inspect your goods you can deal with the containers to prevent any loss deterioration damage etc you can sort your goods you can show your goods to people for sale okay sir now warehouse goods which are there in the warehouse i can show to people and i can go ahead and sell them that is known as bond to bond transfer yes sir we remember now listen to me very carefully sir tell us one thing now if our goods are in the warehouse can we go ahead and do manufacturing yes you can go ahead and do manufacturing sir can we go ahead and export the goods directly yes baba you can go ahead and export the goods directly sir can we go ahead and clear the goods yes baba you can go ahead and clear the goods sir can we go ahead and transfer the goods to another warehouse yes baba you can go ahead and transfer the goods to the another warehouse let's go ahead and understand this everyone over here now for an example my goods were there in this warehouse can i go ahead and transfer to another warehouse section number 67 deals with transfer of the goods means you can go ahead and transfer your goods from where one warehouse to another public warehouse or private warehouse might be you got a license you want to transfer baba no problem at all you can transfer to your warehouse so listen see whenever you go ahead and transfer your goods to the warehouse always remember one thing whenever you transfer the goods to the warehouse you as an importer you file a bill of entry which is warehousing ka bill of entry which is known as into bond bill of entry you transfer the goods to this warehouse now to clear the goods from the warehouse you file an ex bond bill of entry but you give an into bond bill of entry plus bond you give yes sir when you want to clear the goods from here you have to file ex bond bill of entry but to transfer there is no ex bond bill of entry no ex bond bill of entry to be filed you don't have to go ahead and file any ex bond bill of entry to clear it from one warehouse and transfer it to another now you can go ahead and transfer it from one warehouse to another no ex bond bill of entry to be filed no new bond is to be given nothing new bond is also not required you can transfer from one warehouse to another warehouse section number 67 allows that you can transfer from one warehouse to another warehouse might be one warehouse i was store, storing the goods that is also a public warehouse i want to transfer to another public warehouse where cold storage is there you can transfer no problem no duty is payable same bond will be continuing you don't have to go ahead and for transferring you don't have to file any bill of entry bill of entry ka requirement is not there same bond will continue and your goods will be transferred from year to year first step can i go ahead and transfer yes baba done sir secondly what can this person do me i can go ahead i can go ahead see why did i deposit in the warehouse because might be i had lack of storage might be the shipment came very early i don't need it now or might be i didn't have funds to pay the duty or my intention was i will go ahead and sell the warehouse goods to another person then baba that time i had gone ahead and stored the goods now my intention is to clear the goods i have the money then number one what you can do if your goods are over here you can go ahead and clear the goods what how to clear the goods goods can be cleared for home consumption if you want to go ahead and clear them they are going ahead and telling section number 68 people section number 67 i told you you can go ahead and transfer the goods okay section number 68 says goods can be cleared for home consumption when you want to clear the goods for home consumption to put the goods in the warehouse you had filed into bond bill of entry to clear the goods from here you have to go ahead and file sir which bond you will file everyone ex bond bill of entry you have to go ahead and file and your goods can be cleared for home consumption when you are filing the ex bond bill of entry do the assessment under section number 14 1 or tariff value or transaction value as per section number 42 tariff value then pay the duty pay the interest pay the fine pay the penalty and your goods will be cleared the bond will be cancelled and returned to you and you got your goods home okay sir number one 
section number 67 i can transfer number two if i want i can clear the goods for home consumption clearing the goods for home consumption you have to pay the duty sir can i go ahead and number two over here one more thing sir can i go ahead and directly export i imported the goods everyone see i imported the goods got the goods in the warehouse and now i got a customer outside india only can i go ahead and directly export see everyone when you go ahead and import when you go ahead and import and you clear these goods to your home whatever duty you paid when you go ahead and send it outside india you get only 98 percent dbk so government has told why to clear only do one thing no when your goods come inside india go ahead transfer them to the custom warehouse keep it in the warehouse don't pay any duty when you get an export order export it you will get no duty paid no duty payable i did not pay any duty when i transferred to the warehouse and now also no duty payable on export simple there is no dbk scheme only over here in dbk you get only 98 percent dbk if you pay for pay clear why so much headache baba go ahead don't pay any duty transfer it to the warehouse clear from the warehouse directly for export that is known as direct clearance from the warehouse for export without payment on any, any duty that is told under section number 69 over here that you can go ahead and directly export from here without payment of any taxes bond will be cancelled and returned bond will be cancelled and returned and exporter will go ahead and file a shipping bill e-clearance order can be given or the officer will go ahead and give you let export order everyone over here can i go ahead everyone i will tell you once again sir can i go ahead and transfer from one warehouse to another yes baba section number 67 allows you sir can i go ahead and clear the goods what will be the process you will have to file an ex bond bill of entry pay the duty tax interest penalty whatever is there fine pay it and they will go ahead and clear your goods for home consumption and bond will be cancelled and returned to you section number 68 done section number 69 can i go ahead and clear the goods from here directly outside india yes baba you can go ahead and directly export from the warehouse without paying any duty sir bond will be cancelled and returned to you you have to go ahead and file the shipping bill and the officer will give you a late export order late export order will be given or nowadays e-clearance order online are given also quickly tell me everyone are you clear with three things which can be done with three things which can be done with the warehouse goods are we all clear till here yes sir we all got it let's go ahead now listen my goods which are in the warehouse my goods are there in the warehouse i am going ahead and telling sir these goods which are there in the warehouse are not as per my specification i don't want these goods can you go ahead and relinquish the title yes baba you can go ahead and relinquish the title also see this is sir if you want whatever goods are there in the warehouse either in the public or private warehouse you can go ahead either clear or relinquish the title section number 68 went ahead and told in the proviso that you can go ahead and relinquish the title when you relinquish the title department will relinquish the duty you relinquish the title department will say you left the goods we will leave the duty but sir if you have gone ahead and imported some goods which you kept in the warehouse ak-47 and you are caught and you are telling no no sir i don't want them i will leave the goods you leave the duty beta you will go to jail also now if offensive goods then you are not allowed to relinquish you will be sent to jail i went ahead and told you about four things i went ahead and told till now what did i go ahead and tell you everyone i went ahead and told you about the various warehouses first of all i went ahead and told principal commissioner or the commissioner of custom can go ahead who will give the license everyone for all the three types of warehouses principal commissioner or the commissioner gives the license for all the three types of warehouse public warehouse under section number 57 private warehouse under section number 58 sir and one more warehouse which is special warehouse under section number 58 a okay sir then sir when one person ka goods have come he will go and file because he did not have money or might be lack of storage he will go ahead and file an into bond bill of entry plus give a bond 
बॉन्ड का डिस्कशन इस सेक्शन नंबर 59 आइदर कंटिन्यूटी बॉन्ड और ए जनरल बॉन्ड कंजाइनमेंट बॉन्ड और ए जनरल बॉन्ड फॉर ए स्पेसिफाइड पीरियड द ऑफिसर विल गो एड एंड चेक ऑल द गुड्स एंड ही विल गो एड एंड सी वेदर बॉन्ड एक्सेट्रा इज करेक्ट एंड ही विल गिव ए क्लीयरेंस ऑर्डर अंडर सेक्शन नंबर 60 क्लीयरेंस ऑर्डर इज इशूड फिफ्टी सेवन फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी नाइन सिक्सटी में Go deposit your goods in whichever warehouse it is fit to deposit, or you want to deposit. Deposit the goods now, sir. If once I go ahead and deposit the goods now, sir, fifteen sixty done over here. What was section number sixty one? Period of warehousing, sir. We went ahead and told maximum period is one year, extendable by one year, one year, one year. Yes, sir. In case of EOU, ESTP, etc., there is no period. Sixty two section not applicable. Sixty three section not applicable. Then I went ahead and told you. Section number sixty-two, sixty-three is not applicable. Then, which is the section I told sixty-four? What can you do with your goods which are there in the warehouse? You can inspect the goods. You can transfer it from one warehouse to another. You can inspect the goods. You can deal with the goods. You can sort the goods. You can show the goods. Okay, and sell the goods also. Once you show the goods, you can transfer the bill of lading to another person, and bond to bond transfer can be done by you. Yes, sir. Next, now listen to me very carefully, sir. 65, 66. I have not taught yet. I am teaching you 67, which went ahead and told you can transfer from one warehouse to another warehouse. Bill of entry is not required. Same bond will continue. 68, sir. Can I go ahead and clear the goods for warehouse home consumption? Yes, Baba. You can go ahead and clear the goods for home consumption. Pay the duty and clear, sir. 68 ka proviso told if whatever goods are there, you can also relinquish the title, but. Sir, in that scenario, always remember offensive goods, no relinquishment. Section number sixty-nine. Can you go ahead and export the goods outside India? Yes, Baba, you can go ahead and export the goods, but no duty is payable when you export. Bond will be cancelled and returned, and you have to file a shipping bill, and the late export order shall be given. Everyone over here now. Now the fourth thing you can go ahead and do. Listen to me very carefully. What people go ahead and do? No, they are. manufacturing facility which is there that only they go ahead and take the license as a private warehouse and in the manufacturing facility they get all the goods and carry out the warehousing over they go ahead and warehouse may goods are there manufacturing is also done over here it means what they did first they got the goods over here they did the manufacturing etc and then they go ahead and export it outside india so everyone listen to me very carefully if you get your goods in the warehouse and do the manufacturing then they are going ahead and telling you can get the goods do the manufacturing in the warehouse and end product end product which is there either you can go ahead and export if you export everyone tell me one thing i went ahead this is my warehouse over here in the warehouse i got the goods theek hai with this goods i made the end product when i made the end product end product i went ahead and exported if you export sir no duty is payable because exports when anyways no duty on the imported goods you don't have to pay any duty simple sir i went ahead and end product cleared in india what will happen in this scenario they are going ahead and telling if you sold it in india you have to one minute End product. If you have to go ahead and see, I will go ahead and show you section number sixty-five in the book itself. Everyone, please come to the book. We will read section number sixty-five in detail. Everyone over here now. See, manufacture and other operations or in relation. So I am teaching you section number sixty-five now. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Done. Then, manufacture and other operation in relation to goods in a warehouse with the permission of the principal commissioner of customs of custom. and subject to condition as may prescribe the owner of warehouse goods may carry out any operation or other operation in the warehouse in relation to the goods you can carry out the operation in the warehouse without paying any duty you are basically going ahead and doing your manufacturing okay wherein the course of any operation in relation to warehouse goods under sub section 1 there is any waste or refuse the following provision shall apply everyone over here if whole or any of the part resulting from such operation are exported whole of the goods are exported everyone over here i am going ahead and telling end product is exported then end product pay anyways there is no duty theek okay, hai everyone but 
लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली एंड प्रोडक्ट इज बीइंग एक्सपोर्टेड देन एंड प्रोडक्ट पे देयर इज नो एक्सपोर्ट ड्यूटी एनीवेज एंड प्रोडक्ट इज एक्सपोर्टेड देन इट विल फॉल ओवर हियर सर वेयर हाउस से यू आर डायरेक्टली गोइंग एट एंड एक्सपोर्टिंग विदाउट पेमेंट ऑफ टैक्स बॉन्ड विल बी कैंसल्ड and return to you because you have gone ahead and exported so what i did i went ahead and got the raw material made the end product and i went ahead and exported no duty shall be payable over here because this is section number 69 which is telling section number 69 says no duty shall be payable okay then sir sir if i clear it in india then baba always remember eh, you have to go ahead and pay the duty duty has to be paid duty payable over here in this scenario duty is payable it is like you have gone ahead and cleared the goods in india when you clear the goods in india you have to go ahead and pay the duty it is like clearance for home consumption yes sir point is clear here duty shall be payable is my point clear to all is everyone clear till here yes sir we are all clear so listen to me if you go ahead and export the goods anyways it will fall under section number 69 no duty but sir end product if you go ahead and clear it in india then duty is payable it's a clearance for home consumption and the duty shall be payable my question over here i went ahead and did the end product you made end product ka story i am not talking so when you made the end product there was scrap scrap was generated what will happen about the scrap see it is nothing other than what you imported the cloth ka shirt ka cloth you imported from the cloth you made shirt shirt is the end product but there was scrap also which generated what to do about the scrap they are going ahead and telling over here if end product is exported sir no import duty you don't have to pay any import duty on the raw material which is lying in the scrap see i got some cloth from outside india theek hai i got some cloth from outside india on this import duty was payable but what i did i went ahead and used this cloth made a shirt out of it and shirt went outside india shirt pay no duty this waste which is generated don't you think it's a part of the imported goods only this waste they are going ahead and telling ramesh this waste if goods are exported then you do one thing destroy the waste scrap ko you destroy it if you destroy the scrap no duty import duty need not be paid by you okay sir if this scrap which is there i go ahead and sell sir if you go ahead and sell this then you have to pay duty always remember one thing if you go ahead and sell then you have to pay the duty on the waste okay sir point is clear sir tell me one thing if the scrap is sold in india sir this is a case when your end product is exported if your end product is exported if your end product is end product is exported then end product pay no duty okay if end product is exported no duty on the end product theek hai but if what about the scrap scrap destroyed no import duty sir scrap is sold in india then you just have to pay the duty okay sir point is clear next now i am going ahead and asking i went ahead and imported raw material okay sir i imported raw material now i did not pay any duty i made end product also and i made i end product when i made scrap was also generated end product i sold in india then i have to pay duty on this also and when i sold the scrap in india i have to pay on the scrap also duty is my point clear to all quickly tell me everyone are we all clear with this see over here they are telling sold in india you have to pay import duty on the scrap also yes sir we are all clear till here let's go ahead everyone over here now now listen to me very carefully sir can you tell me how these people go ahead and clear the goods nothing baba they file a bill of entry which is ex bond bill of entry they pay the duty and they go ahead and clear this i have already gone ahead and told you theek hai next now i went ahead and told you about the various thing what are the things i have gone ahead and told you till now everyone over here i told you about the warehouse public warehouse private warehouse baba i have to teach you like that that at home you don't have to remember in your dreams also you should see warehouse only theek hai public warehouse private warehouse and there is special warehouse sir you went ahead and told 
58 and 58A. Now, sir, this warehouse ka license is given by principal commissioner or commissioner. Yes, sir. Then, now, sir, can the principal commissioner or commissioner cancel the li license of the warehouse? Yes, Baba. Section number 58B talks about cancellation of license which I have written on the right hand side. See over here, everyone. Now, it says cancellation of the license where a licensee contravenes any of the provision of the act rules regulation or breaches any of the condition of the license if you do any contravention might be what you entered and did no your private warehouse ka license was there you are clearing the goods but you are not paying the duty officer came to know in that scenario baba gone your license will be cancelled where a licensee contravenes any of the provision of the act rules or regulation and and or breach of condition of the license principal commissioner or commissioner your person who gave you the license only will go ahead and cancel after providing you an opportunity of being heard now he will go ahead and do an inquiry against you when the inquiry is done your license will be suspended means they will tell you no more new deposit in the warehouse and no new goods shall be deposited during the suspension they will suspend your registration once suspended, they will do the inquiry. If on inquiry, they found everything is fine. It was a mistake. No problem. Then okay. But if on inquiry, they found your registration should be cancelled, then they will go ahead and cancel your registration, cancel your license for the warehouse. And they will tell you, please remove your goods from the warehouse within seven days. You are no more allowed to keep your goods in the warehouse. So now what you have to do, you have to either go ahead. Your private license is cancelled transfer your good to a public warehouse or do one thing no you have to go ahead and clear it and pay the duty or export it do whatever you want he will tell but old goods should be removed from the warehouse within seven days okay sir cancellation you thought then sir my goods have come to india it is told that i should clear the goods within 30 days otherwise custodian will go ahead and sell so please go ahead and let me file the bill of entry you will file the bill of entry and section number 59 may bond you will give sir then the custom officer will go ahead and check and he will issue a clearance order under section number 60 clearance order given i will deposit in the warehouse then what will happen sir section number 61 warehousing cup period 62 total bakwa 63 actually 62 and 63 is deleted then we have section number 64 can you tell me everyone what is section number 64 going ahead and telling section number 64 everyone I forgot section number 64. Sir, how can you forget section number 64? Huh. Owner's right to deal. You can go ahead and deal with your goods, inspect your goods, show your goods, sort your goods, deal with the container. Now listen, you can show your goods for sale. You can show your goods for sale. What do you mean? For an example, for an example, I had gone ahead and imported the goods. You know why I kept the goods in the warehouse? Because my intention was to sell the goods. So, I will go ahead and transfer the warehouse goods to madam. I am Mr. X. Mr. X went ahead and sold to Mrs. Y. Mrs. Y told, I want to buy the goods. Ramesh, you have the bill of lading. Can you transfer the bill of lading to me? I want to buy the goods. Warehouse goods, transfer the goods without clearing. It is known as bond to bond transfer basically what will happen i had gone ahead and given a bond my goods are in the warehouse i had given a bond now i transferred it to madam madam has to go ahead and now give a bond so it is known as my bond will be cancelled she has to give a bond so it is known as bond to bond transfer okay sir point is clear everyone over here now now she is the importer now when she goes to clear she will have to pay import duty liable to pay when she clears the goods from warehouse basic custom duty social welfare surcharge i gst and gst compensation says has to be paid by her can you tell me sir when she is going to clear i gst and gst compensation says sir she will have to go ahead and pay on the value which is told in 38a or 310a sir what is this 38a or 310a i will tell you when she is going to clear the goods sir basic first of all whatever is the transaction value of the goods that will be taken transaction value 
or the tariff value which is there okay on that basic custom duty will be charged okay sir then what will happen then protective duty will be charged okay sir then the total will come then on this cvd 31 whichever is there that will be charged okay sir then total will come then social welfare surcharge will be charged on this this and this amount tax only then sir then will total will come then on this cvd 35 will be charged okay sir then total will come then safeguard duty will be charged then okay only if all these duties will be charged only if they are applicable okay then cvd on subsidized article will be charged anti-dumping duty will be charged and sir then total will come this total is known as 38 ka total on which igst under section number 37 of the custom tariff act will be charged so igst charged on 38 ka value or the transaction value basically supposingly sir everyone listen i went ahead he i went ahead and sold the goods to madam at 9 lakh rupees everyone 38 ka value is coming over here as 8 lakh rupees and i have sold at 9 lakh rupees 38 ka value or the transaction value whichever is higher on that it is told that igst under section number 38a which is igst leviable on the goods for an example 18 percent igst is there that will be charged on 38 ka value or the transaction value whichever is higher sir 310a says again gst compensation says will be charged on 38 ka value which is uh, 310 ka value it is also known as 310 ka value for charging gst compensation says on 8 lakh or the transaction value whichever is higher quickly give me heads up are we all clear on what amount igst shall be charged in case of bond to bond transfer 38 ka value always remember as per section number 38a it is 38 ka value or the transaction value whichever is higher on that madam has to go ahead and pay the igst and gst compensation says yes everyone are we all clear till here yes sir we all got it till here you went ahead and told about till where did i tell you i told 62 63 is not there then 64 owners right to deal with the goods all the four point i explained you then we have 65 where they went ahead and told you can do the manufacturing end product exported no duty end product sold in india duty has to be paid sir end product ka scrap if end product was exported and scrap is destroyed no duty on scrap but scrap is sold in india if x scrap is sold in india you have to pay the duty sir end product sold in india scrap is also sold in india then baba if scrap is also sold in india you have to pay the import duty i want to go ahead and read over here when in the course of operation permissible in relation to any warehouse goods under subsection one there is any use or refuse the following provisions shall apply if all or any part of the goods resulting from such operation are exported imported import duty shall be remitted on the quantity of warehouse goods contained in so much of the waste or refuse as has arisen from such operation means you don't have to go ahead and pay the import duty in the goods provided such waste or refuse is destroyed so they are going ahead and telling import duty shall be remitted means you don't have to pay the import duty on the quantity of the warehouse goods contained in so much of waste or refuse as has arisen during the operation waste or scrap pay you don't have to pay any duty provided that such scrap should be either destroyed or duty is paid on the waste or refuse as if it had been imported into india in that form so they are going ahead and telling sir if waste or scrap is being generated do one thing you destroy you don't have to pay any duty if sir what if i go ahead and export the scrap only sir if you export anyways import duty will not be payable by you but if you go ahead and sell the scrap then sir they are going ahead and telling if such waste or scrap is duty is paid on waste or scrap as if it had been imported into india in that form if you go ahead and don't go ahead and destroy or if you don't destroy you have to go ahead and pay the 
duty. Yes, sir, you have to go ahead and pay the duty. Basically, the import duty has to be paid. Next. Sir, if the whole or any part of the scrap resulting from such operation are cleared from the warehouse for home consumption, import duty shall be charged on the quantity of the warehouse goods contained in so much of waste as are arisen from the operation on relation to the in relation to the goods cleared for home consumption. So, sir, if the end product is sold in India, then duty is there on the goods. Yes, and also on the scrap which is sold in India, import duty has to be paid. Quickly tell me everyone, are you all there with me till here everyone? Yes sir, we are clear till section number 65. Everyone over here. Now one section number 66 is there, which is a total bakwas over here. What is section number 66 telling? It is just the power with the government to exempt imported goods used in the manufacture of goods in the warehouse. When you import the goods and you use it for manufacturing the goods in the warehouse, they are going ahead and telling we can issue a notification and exempt those goods from import duty. If any imported material are used in accordance with the provision of section number 65 for manufacturing of any goods and the rate of duty levyable on the imported material, imported material pay whatever is the duty that exceeds the rate of duty levyable on such goods, it is exceeding the rate of duty which is levyable on such goods. Basically what goods you are making, whatever is the duty on that goods. The raw material ka duty is more than the central government if it is satisfied in the interest of the establishment or domestic industry ke liye, government can go ahead and tell, I can issue a notification and exempted the imported material from the whole or part of the excess duty which is there. Government has this power that government can go ahead and exempt the imported material from duty. But this is only by a notification. Okay, sir. This is just for your knowledge. Everyone over here now, listen to me very carefully. Sir, how can you go ahead and remove the goods from the warehouse? I have already told you. You can go ahead and transfer. I have told you everyone. 66 is total bakwas. TB. 67, 68, 69. I went ahead and told you. You can transfer from here to here. That is one method 67 you can remove the goods from the warehouse you can clear it from home consumption 68 so i can go ahead and say 67 here section number 68 i went ahead and told you here section number 69 sir you can go ahead and export it outside india did i tell you all the three section yes sir 67 68 69 section number 68 67 you can transfer from one warehouse to another warehouse no new bond no bill of entry 68 Sir, can I clear for home consumption? Yes, Baba, you can go ahead and clear for home consumption. I told you, you have to go ahead and clear. You can clear for home consumption. Assessment will be done. You have to pay the duty and bond shall be cancelled. The same thing has been told over here. And clearance order shall be given. But, sir, can I relinquish the right? Yes, you can go ahead and relinquish the title. I have also told you about relinquishment of title. But, if it's an offensive good, then you can't go ahead and relinquish the title. They have also gone ahead and told no relinquishment of title. Now, over here, I have told you about the essential ingredient. This is just for your knowledge. You can read at home. Section number 69. Sir, can I go ahead and export the goods directly from the warehouse? 69. Yes, sir. You can go ahead and do it. And that is also I have already gone ahead and explained you over here. Yes, but here one point is additional. Now, when you are going, you know what people go ahead and do. Listen to me very carefully. People will tell the government, my goods are in the warehouse. If I go ahead and clear it for home consumption, duty has to be paid. I will do one cheating. I will go ahead and tell the government, government, I am going ahead and exporting the goods. No duty. Now, you know what will happen? My goods will come over here in the port. I will load the goods. Okay? I will put the goods in the ship. And when I am going, no, after I go from here, I will come back to India. I will do smuggling. Basically, whenever it's a nearing country or it's a neighboring country or generally people try to do all these things. So, government have gone ahead and told if government feels that people will go ahead and try to do, retake the goods back into India by smuggling, then government can go ahead and give some restrictions and condition by issuing a notification. See over here, notwithstanding anything, if central government is of the opinion that warehouse goods are likely to be smuggled back, it may by notification in the official gadget, direct such goods not to be exported place outside India without payment of duty. Ramesh, you want to export these goods? I think 
you are a smuggler then they will go ahead and tell i will not allow you to export if you want to export pay the duty and export gone or when you are exporting government will attach some restriction by issuing a notification okay sir let's go ahead this is just theory of this i have written a summary below okay sir point is clear next section number 70 everyone over here i want to see if we can fit section number 70 over here you can write down section number 70 over here volatile goods volatile goods sir what happens in case of volatile goods what do you mean by volatile goods kerosene petrol you got everyone listen when you got kerosene and petrol you went ahead and got kerosene thousand liters of kerosene you transferred the kerosene to the warehouse you transferred the kerosene to the warehouse okay everyone one minute sorry there was thousand liter kerosene tell me one thing kerosene will evaporate right yes sir evaporation happened when i filed the bill of entry i filed the bill of entry and i told thousand liter and in the bill of lading also it was there goods transferred to the warehouse can you tell me everyone when goods are in the warehouse what is the taxable event what is the taxable event in case of warehouse goods tell me sir in case of warehouse goods the taxable event is when you want to go ahead and clear the goods from the warehouse when you file a bill of entry for home consumption which is an ex bond bill of entry kiran spinning mill ka case law is there sir kiran spinning mill ka case law it is told when you clear the goods from the warehouse the taxable event is when you try to get the goods back out from the warehouse yes sir we know that now sir tell me one thing when you are taking it out from the warehouse only 900 liters of kerosene is remaining on what will you pay duty sir taxable event is when the goods are cleared from the warehouse i will pay duty only on 900 liter that is told in section number 70 when volatile goods are there which will evaporate etc in that scenario government is telling volatile goods etc ka case may see over here everyone government is telling when any warehouse goods to which this section applies this section is applicable for kerosene high speed diesel all these petrol etc at the time of delivery from a warehouse are find to found to be deficient due to a natural loss baba this is not loss under section number 23 this is not the loss under section number 23. This is the loss under section number 70, which is natural loss. Petrol will evaporate, diesel will evaporate, kerosene will evaporate. So they are telling the assistant commissioner or deputy commissioner of custom may remit the duty on such deficiency. They will remit the duty. Means you have to go ahead, 1000 liters were there, 100 liters where they will not ask you the duty. You have to pay the duty on Leon, 900 liters everyone over here now this section applies to warehouse goods as the central government having regards to the volatility by notification in the official gadget specify and i have gone ahead and written one story for you guys to read what are the volatile goods etc okay sir everyone over here now can you tell me everyone what are the sections i told you people with me i want this chapter to be 100 percent grave one question three to four mark will come this time sir section number 57 public warehouse license sir private warehouse 58 58a special warehouse 58b cancellation of the license now 59 may you will file a bill of entry with bond bond 59 60 clearance order will be given 61 tell me sir section number 61 everyone period of warehousing very very important for your exam purpose is period of warehousing then Sir, 62, 63 deleted. 64, what are the rights of the owner? Again, exam question. What are the rights of the owner? They can go ahead and ask you. Okay, section number 65, sir. Manufacturing can be done. They can go ahead and ask you. These goods were manufactured, some were exported, sir. Then scrap was being cleared, scrap was being destroyed. All those questions they can go ahead and ask you. Section number 66 went ahead and told what everyone? Total Bakwas, government can issue a notification, imported goods pay, you don't have to pay import duty. 
टोटल बकवास सेक्शन नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन वन वेयर हाउस टू अनदर वेयर हाउस यू कैन ट्रांसफर सेक्शन नंबर सिक्सटी एट सर क्लियरिंग फॉर होम कंजम्पन और रेलिंग क्विशमेंट यू डोंट हैव टू पे एनी ड्यूटी सिक्सटी नाइन यू कैन गोड एंड सेंड द गुड्स आउटसाइड इंडिया विदाउट पेइंग एनी ड्यूटी बट गवर्नमेंट हैज डाउट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू स्मगल इट बैक देन गवर्नमेंट विल टेल यू टू पे द ड्यूटी सेवेंटी वॉलेटाइल गुड्स में पे ड्यूटी सर यू नो ड्यूटी ऑन द नॉर्मल लॉस विच इज देयर बेसिकली नो ड्यूटी ऑन द नॉर्मल लॉस विच हेज हैपन ओके सर ओनली ऑन द रिमेनिंग गुड्स विच यू आर क्लियरिंग यू हैव टू गो एड एंड पे द ड्यूटी नाउ एवरी वन ओवर हियर कैन यू टेल मी वॉट आर द प्रॉपर वेज ऑफ रिमूवल फ्रॉम द वेयर हाउस सर द प्रॉपर वेज ऑफ रिमूवल फ्रॉम द वेयर हाउस आर आई दर यू एक्सपोर्ट एवरी वन आई हेव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू आई दर यू गो एड एंड टेक इट फॉर होम कंजम्पन और यू गो एड एंड एक्सपोर्ट इट or you take it from one warehouse to another they will ask you in the exam sir what are the ones what are the ways of proper clearance proper clearance means sir you take it from one warehouse to another warehouse you take it you clear for home consumption or you trans export it all these are the things which you can go ahead and do it with your warehouse goods then they are going ahead and telling no warehouse goods shall be taken out of the warehouse except by way of transfer or export or Sir, clearance for home consumption. These are the ways of removal. Okay. Now, everyone, listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very carefully. This is something which is very, very important for your exam. Improper removal. I have gone ahead and told in your chart also. See. Note: If no custom duty on clearance, no interest is payable. So, for an example, when you were clearing the goods, you saw that goods pay. Then there is no custom duty only. The goods which you went ahead and cleared. there is no custom duty only always remember if there is no custom duty at the time of clearance of goods no import duty for an example no interest for an example you send the goods directly outside india no custom duty no interest also shall be payable custom duty gone interest also gone for the department remember everyone over here now it says if goods for an example i went ahead and deposited the goods on 1st of january everyone now i should i was given a period of 6 months it means till 30th june 2019 i was supposed to keep the goods i was given a warehousing period of okay i will take one year i was given a warehousing period till 31st december 2019 baba you have to make sure see everyone till 90 days no interest after 90 days interest at the rate 15% has to be paid tell me one thing everyone when do you have to clear the goods when do you have to clear the goods in this scenario sir we should go ahead and clear the goods by 31st december if you don't go ahead and clear your goods by 31st december by 31st december if you don't go ahead and clear your goods you cleared your goods for an example on 10th of january 2020 then they will go ahead and say this is a case of improper removal and we will deem that deemed deemed everyone deemed goods removed on 31st december 2019 okay i want to go ahead and ask you guys one thing i imported the goods okay i filed a bill of entry into bond bill of entry everyone tell me one thing i filed into bond bill of entry on 1st january cleared the goods for warehousing theek hai today when i filed into bond bill of entry the rate of duty which was applicable on my goods was 10% when i filed the ex bond bill of entry to go ahead and clear the goods from the warehouse the rate of duty was 12% can you tell me everyone generally in case of warehouse goods what is the rate of duty which is applicable in case of warehouse goods what is the rate of duty which is applicable sir in case of goods cleared from the warehouse the rate of duty is applicable as on the date of filing of ex bond bill of entry which is green in color do you guys agree with me that when i am going ahead and calculating custom duty 1 crore ka goods i will have to pay 12% duty quickly tell me everyone do you guys agree with me that i have to go ahead and pay 12% duty which is on the date of filing ex bond bill of entry 
Yes, sir, we all agree with you. You have to go ahead and pay the duty as on the date of X bond bill of entry. Now, now listen to me very carefully. If goods are not removed within the period permitted, if goods are not removed within the period permitted, if goods not removed within the permitted period permitted, they are deemed to be improperly removed. Means, for an example, I should have gone ahead and removed my goods from the warehouse by 31st December, but they continued to be in the warehouse. I was not allowed, but I kept it there and I removed it on 10th of January. It is known as an improper removal. It is an improper removal. Rate of duty will be as on the date of deemed removal means this day it will be deemed that you have removed the goods. Now my question is if the rate of duty is 12% here and the rate of duty is 18% here, which date ka rate of duty will be applicable? Is it the day you file the ex bond bill of entry or the deemed date of removal ka date, rate of duty will be applicable? Sir, always remember, always remember now ex bond date ka bill of entry ka date ka rate of duty will not be applicable. It will be the last day when your goods were supposed to be taken out from the warehouse and rate of duty will be as on the date deemed removal ka date and not when the demand notice is issued. Section number 15.1b not applicable in case of improper removal. In case of improper removal, ex bond bill of entry date you will not see. You will see the last day that will be the deemed removal of goods date and that day ka rate of duty will be applicable. Are we all clear till here? Yes, sir. We all got it. That is what, what is told in section number 72 over here. It says, in any of the following cases, that is to say, where any warehouse goods are removed from the warehouse in contravention of section number 71, means section number 71 gave you this ways. But if you have done any other contravention and you have removed the goods, or when any warehouse goods have been removed from the warehouse on at the expiry of the period during which such goods are permitted under section number 61 to remain in the warehouse, means after the period of warehousing or where any goods in respect of which a bond has been executed under section number 59. You have executed a bond and which have not been cleared for home consumption or exported or are not duly accounted for to the satisfaction of the proper officer. The proper officer may demand and the owner of the such goods shall forthwith, forthwith means immediately, pay the full amount of duty. For an example, you cleared the goods from the warehouse, but you did not pay the duty. Officer came to know, immediately he will give you a demand order and immediately you have to make the payment. The full amount of duty along with interest, fine, penalties has to be paid. Sir, if you don't go ahead and pay the demand, then they will go ahead and sell, detain all your goods and they will sell off all your goods which are there in the warehouse. See, it says, if any owner fails to pay the demand, then the proper officer may, without prejudice to any other remedy, can detain and sell the goods after notice, such sufficient portion of the goods, if any, in the warehouse, as the said officer may deem fit. Okay, sir, point is clear. Sir, cancellation and return of the warehousing bond, if, sir, where the whole or any part of the goods which are, are in the warehouse, you went and exported it or you cleared it, go to the officer, tell him, sir, please give my bond back. I have gone ahead and cleared all the goods or I have exported it. Then he will go ahead and check whether you have paid all the duties, etc. And he will cancel your bond and return it to you. Section number 73, cancellation and return of bond. Section number 74, uh, sir, if the goods are in the custody of the warehouse keeper. It is the responsibility of the warehouse keeper to not go ahead and allow you to remove the goods. If there is any contravention, he shall be liable. See, all the warehouse goods shall remain in the custody of the person who has been granted a license. This warehouse belongs to Mohan. So, Baba Mohan should take care that no one takes the goods out without paying the duty. Under section number 57, 58 or 58A, then until they are cleared for home consumption or are transferred to another warehouse or are export or removed as otherwise provided under this act means cleared for home consumption. 
he should not go ahead and allow the goods to be taken out. ठीक है All warehouse goods shall remain in the custody of the warehouse keeper. All the responsibility of the person who has the custody of the goods shall be as may prescribe. They will go ahead and prescribe. What is his responsibility? He should not go ahead and allow the goods to be removed. He should see that everyone is going ahead and uh, he is, he should make sure that proper records of the goods are being maintained maintained then where any warehouse goods are removed in contravention of section number 71 71 says you can transfer it to warehouse clear for home consumption or export sir people went ahead and cleared for home consumption without paying any duty then baba any contravention the licensee he will become the bakra over here it says will be liable to pay duty interest penalty without prejudice to any other action that can be taken against him under this act or any other law for the time being in force they are telling warehouse keeper will be made the bakra if he if there is any duty which is not being paid and the goods are cleared in contravention people here i am done here i am done with the chapter of warehousing now all you have to go ahead and do is do your q and a and you are done with the chapter i will go ahead and close my chapter of warehousing over here i hope you guys enjoyed the chapter yes sir we all enjoyed it let's go ahead and everyone continue okay let's go ahead and close the chapter of warehousing over here everyone